Hey what's going on guys, just before we dive into the video I want to let you know that we have an awesome Iceborne giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamersheek for everything you see on screen. A PS4 Pro, a year of PlayStation Plus, the steelbook copy of Iceborne and even the two Monster Hunter Nendroid figures. If you want to enter, click the link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on your Monster Hunter pre-order, you can grab it at Gamersheek, use code ARIXGAMING and it will give you a discount making it the cheapest place to buy it that we've seen in the UK. Hey what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And this one's going to be a quick guide for you guys on how to upgrade your harvest box. Of course, if you uh, played well before, hopefully you have got your max upgraded harvest box to the point where you can farm three items at once. However, when you move into Iceborne, you move into Master Rank, you can upgrade that even further so that not only can your box hold more materials, but you can also farm an additional fourth item. And since there are likely more things you want to be farming, this is going to come in incredibly handy. In order to do this, you have to go through three different steps. The very first one is a Master Rank 1 quest. This is a quest called Greetings from the Tundra. It'll have you go into the Horfrost Reach and you have to go and find some young Butterbirds. Basically, you just have to go around gathering the items you see on screen. You can see them from this kind of typical iconic location. They normally show up on your map with a little kind of question mark icon so you know where they are. And especially if you do this in co-op, you can kind of gather things a lot faster in the process. Either way, gather these, complete these, and when you return, this will do the first upgrade to your harvest box, which doesn't give you an extra slot, doesn't give you more capacity. What it does do is allow you to farm new materials, because of course in Whole Frost Reach, there are new things like hot peppers or gloam grass buds, which are used to create dust of life, incredibly important. So this is the first step. Once you've done that, and of course you've spoken to the botanist or the appropriate person in Steliana, you will then get another quest, which is an optional quest, Master Rank 2 this time, and this will send you to Elder's Recess. The quest for this one is called Looking for That Glimmer. And this one will have you go around the map gathering Gaia Amber. This comes from the typical orange little amber nodes you see around the map. They don't necessarily drop every single time. I had to kind of do a few loops around the map to get them all to, you know, drop, get the kind of parts that I needed. So it is a little bit slower on the uh, on the drop front or on the kind of RNG front, but go and find those nodes, look around the map. There are various different locations. You can, of course, see a few examples in this video. And then once you've gathered all those, you go back. This will then upgrade the capacity of your box. What you'll notice is at the end of world, of course, if you have your farm running, it normally caps out at 40 capacity. So you can have, you know, 40 items in your box. And at that point, you'll then get a notification saying, hey, your box is full, go and gather your items. This now increases it to 50, meaning you can leave your farm for a little bit longer before you have to go and empty that box. Again, kind of convenient, but ultimately, not exactly what we want. So the third and final quest is called Secret of the Ooze. This will have you capture a Brachydeos, and if you go and do that and complete the quest, so if you go out, you know, find him in the Elder's Recess, take him down, capture him, and then when you come back, you return to, of course, the Botanical Research NPC. And finally, after all the effort, you now have the fourth slot for your Harvest Box. At this point, you can then go and farm an additional item, which again, is incredibly handy. If there are more things you wanna be farming, I always personally have Gloam Grass Bud on kind of retainer just because I want to be a good teammate, I want to make Dust of Life, monsters in Master Rank hit a lot harder, Dust of Life is going to be incredibly important, so uh, don't sleep on farming that item. But either way, whatever you want to use it for, that my friends is a quick guide on how you get the fourth slot and the capacity upgrade for your farm box. Hope you found that helpful, of course be sure to keep it locked so I'll have plenty more Iceborne videos coming your way very soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.